Hi there, Laura here. Welcome to my creative life. Now today I'm going to shop my stash for the makeup I want to wear for the next week or two weeks depending on how long I feel inspired by this next lot of makeup. But first of all I want to talk a bit about why I want to shop my stash. So I ask myself what do I love about makeup? Is it the makeup itself or what it does for me? Or... And what I love about makeup is actually using the makeup and coming up with different looks and colour schemes and just actually applying the makeup. I find it's quite relaxing and it's a good way to de-stress and do something for yourself and just playing with colour. So that's why I like to shop my stash and the other reason is I want to be familiar with what I've got because since I started watching beauty gurus and on YouTube my makeup collection has grown quite a lot and I don't want to be going out and buying things and then come home and find that I've already got something very similar so by shopping my stash I'm hoping I will become a lot more in touch with my own collection so that I will not buy double ups of things because I'll be able to say oh no I've got that colour at home and a good example of this is when I did my August what did I buy I brought this L'Oreal Colour Riche Shine Lipstick in Insta Heaven it's lovely pink colour here can see that. Thinking that I'd seen lots of people reviewing this lipstick on YouTube and saying how nice it was and I thought I wouldn't mind trying that out and seeing what it's like. But I knew I had plenty of lipstick so I didn't actually need another lipstick. I was thinking what colour can I buy and I was in the shop when I was thinking it, <laughs> so I was standing in front of the stand, so I hadn't gone and checked what I had first. And I thought, what colour can I buy that I haven't got? So I was thinking, well, I need a really nice kind of sheer pink, but that reads really pink. So <laughs> I brought this one, thinking, oh yeah, I've got a colour that I haven't got before. And then when I got home, I checked my stash and found this Maybelline one, which is almost exactly the same. And to show you, I can swatch it. They don't look quite the same in a swatch. So let's see if you can see that. So the bottom one there is the L'Oreal one, and the top one is the Maybelline one. So you can see the L'Oreal one's a little bit lighter, but they're the same shade of pink. And I'll show you, if I put these on, so putting the L'Oreal one on the top there, and I'll put the Maybelline one. Did I tell you what this was? This was one of their Colour Sensation ones, and this is in Juicy Pink. Very good job of putting that one on, did I? So, as you can see, they look pretty much the same. Can you tell any difference? Once they're on the lips, they look the same. They have the same kind of formula. They're both shining. They look pretty much the same colour pink in person. They feel about the same <laughs> on the lips. So if I had have been more aware of my own collection, instead of just going out and thinking, oh, I, I haven't got that, I'll go and buy it. If I had been more aware of it, I wouldn't have brought this L'Oreal one because I already had it. Or I would have had a look at the colours in my collection and picked something else that I didn't have. So this is why I want to stop shop my stash so I don't 
buy things that I already have. So these items here are going to stay in my stash for this week from last week because these are my project pan items. So I've got my my setting powder and my setting spray, the dewy finish one, and my face palette, my mascara, my blush, and a liquid illuminator. So those are going to stay in there. And let's go and have a look at my collection and see what else I'm going to choose for this week. So this is where I store my makeup. Now, before I started watching YouTube videos, this was where I stored my makeup. And all my makeup fitted in that drawer. Now all my makeup does not fit in that drawer. <laughs> so I have this drawer. I have this on the top of my vanity. So this used to be um, my dad's old fishing tackle box that he was throwing away so I rescued that and painted it up and use it to store my makeup and my blushes are in here that one's got jewellery in it so that doesn't have any makeup in it and these aren't all my palettes so my other palettes are in here and these are the rest of my palettes because I ran out of room in there and these are all my eyeliners in there so that's my makeup collection so I'm going to go through and see what I want to use now I already know which palette I would like to use I just have to find it I think it's in this box okay, I would like to use my Rebel palette so my idea for shopping my stash be I'll use my um, neutral colours in my face palette that I'm panning as the base for my eyeshadows but then I'm also going to use the BYS Rebel palette with all these interesting colours. I really like the golds and I like to play with the greens a bit and the silvers and um, I, I only had this palette for a short time so I brought this palette when I was in Australia and so that was about a month ago so I've only had this palette for about a month it's not focusing focus that's better <laughs> so I've only had this palette for a month but I have played with it a little bit but what I'd like to do is make sure that I've used every shade in this palette before I put it out and get another palette just so I can touch base with everything I've got so that's going to be my first pick. Now, because I know I want to make some green and gold type of looks with that, that's going to help me choose the rest of my stuff. No, I can't. So I'm just going to get my container and put my palette in there. So the kind of colours that I might like to look at, I probably want a green eyeliner to go with that. And I've got this dark green one as well. It's a double-ended Revlon one. So this side is a green and the other side is a skin tone. So I'm going to use that. Should I'll put the lid on that later. It's a bit tricky with one hand while I'm doing this. And I think I'll put in my NYX gold jumbo, jumbo pencil. That's in cashmere, that one. I'm going to use that one. And I'm going to put in my NYX jumbo pencil in milk for if I want to do a silver look and things. Yeah. Oh, and the LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil. I've got a nice green one in here too, which might be a good base. And this one is called Summertime. So that's a pretty one. Because I don't have um, like one of these Maybelline color tattoos in a green. I do have a gold, so I could put that in. And I do have a creamy color. So that one is barely branded and the gold one is bold gold. So 
they, they'll be good for, for bases. And I might put in my Essence Brighten Up Peach Powder. And what else do I want? Some lipstick. So I'm going to be using um, the pink that I just showed you. I'm going to put that in since I've got two of them. I may as well start using them. And I think I want a brown. Now do I want... I have to decide which brown I'd like. Is this one? Oops, I dropped it. <laughs> it would be easier if this was on a tripod and I could use both hands, I think. There you go. So I'm going to use this brown, I think. And what else do I want? And a brown gloss. So this is a Where's the name of it? Doesn't have a name. Well, I'm going to use this lip gloss, whatever it is. <laughs> I thought it was the same as this one, which is a LA Colors High Shine, but it hasn't got any words on it. So, this brown sort of color. And I also want some orange lipstick to go with my looks this week so I'm going to use this one which is another colour sensation one the same as that pink one I was showing you earlier in mango diamonds so that's a shiny nice shiny um, orange this one is you know, what is this this is a Revlon one colour stay moisture stain in A long moment and this one is more of a matte orange so I'm going to put that in there so that's three lipsticks plus the pink so that makes four lipsticks so that's plenty of lipstick and I'm going to use my dewy finish foundation and that foundation seems to work best when I use my hydrating primer so I'm going to put my hydrating primer I just dropped that on the floor <laughs> excuse me while I pick that up okay. that, that's this Maybelline fit me dewy and smooth foundation it seems to work better with a hydrating primer than it does with the pore filling primer that I have currently been using so I'm going to change that out for a different one and I think that's all I want to put in there at the moment I can always add stuff later oh, and I might put um, if I'm going to do some goldy looks and things I'll put in my master chrome metallic highlighter in molten gold so I'll put that in as well there was one more thing I actually wanted or two more things I should say I wanted an orange coloured blush so this is peach peach glow in NATO so it's just a nice more natural peach and I think to go with it I'll use my big blush in marbled apricot from Fifth Avenue this one's like a blush topper so it's got a bit of a sheen to it this, this blush is very matte and this one is like a blush topper so if I want a bit of an extra sheen then I can use those ones together and that's all I'm going to use I can always add things during the week so here's where I keep my makeup that I'm going to use for the week. So I keep it all out so that I can see it and keep it in mind and know what I'm going to be using this week. And I just sit here at my daughter's desk while she's at university and do my makeup. 
So thanks for watching. I hope you found that useful and I'll see you next time. Bye.